to do the needful, including the impeachment of the governor, as a last resort. So if it becomes a last resort in accordance with the law, we will not hesitate to do so because no individual is bigger than River State, including the governor. We assure the people of River State that we remain undeterred in our service to our fatherland, and no number of threats, including those of violence against us, just like they attack the speaker's residence, will make us abandon. We wrote to the governor. We have written to the governor and said, look, you are doing these things and they are wrong. Don't go this path. He has ignored us and he has continued with impunity, acting as one who is above the laws of River State. We are drawing the attention of Nigerians, of Mr. President, the international community, to the way the governor is behaving. They burnt our hollow chamber, they demolished it. The governor is not following laws of river states. Those who say the governor is innocent all the time, we are calling on them to hear what the governor has been doing. The governor wants to set the state on fire by making sure the elections are not conducted. Even as we are here now, go to somewhere, maybe in Oyubo, where they are doing rally. They are insulting us there. Rather than do what the law says he should do. He says he's above the law. In fact, the commissioner said, I think in Nigeria Info, he told you people that the laws made by Rivers House Assembly are not for the governor. You are, are you not aware? Is it not in your station he said it? He said so. But he said it in your station. But that's the kind of administration we have. I'm an administration that has no regard for the law. That's where we are. So I don't know what else. Our approach, this, this press conference is one of the peaceful steps. We have never hired talks to go and attack the governor. It is the governor who is, talks are coming out from government house to attack the speaker. The video is there, video evidence is there. The evidence is there. So we're not, we're not pursuing him. Ours is follow the law so that there will be peace. He doesn't want to follow the law. You see people who are occupying positions that the law has stipulated who should occupy the position. The governor is asking them to sit there and begin to, uh, as of today, River State is the only state without an appropriation law. And the governor is reckless in what he's doing. So it's important we also state that uh, they must not forget that the River State Assembly has the mandate of the people and that we swore an oath of allegiance to the Constitution to do the needful, including the impeachment of the governor, as a last resort. So if it becomes a last resort in accordance with the law, we will not hesitate to do so because no individual is bigger than River State, including the governor. We assure the people of River State that we remain undeterred in our service to our fatherland and no number of threats, including those of violence against us, just like they attack the speaker's residence, will make us abandon our constitutional mandate to make laws for the good governance of our dear state. Efforts to utilize misguided individuals and attack dogs to spew lies against the house or misinform the populace with the intention of bringing the house to disrepute has only succeeded in strengthening us. It has succeeded in strengthening our resolve to represent our people even better by focusing on our job. and ignoring their distractions. To this end, the positive difference in legislation oversight, to this end, the 10th Reversal Assembly will leave no stone or taunt in our resolve to make a positive difference in legislation, oversight functions, and effective representation. Several bills that are in the interest of the state have succeeded so far, and resolutions passed with the objective of making things better. As we push to meet or surpass the yearnings and aspirations of our constituents, we are focused on our vowed goal of legislative oversight for the betterment of the good people of River State. The peace, progress, and development of River State remains our watchword and remains so. The 10th River State House of Assembly therefore respectfully calls on Mr. President to ignore these hawks that have just landed and their failed attempt to disparage the very performing FCT minister and the River State House of Assembly. In due time, their true intentions will become clearer. Nigerians should remember this. We remain very prayerful and ever supportive of the renewed hope agenda of Mr. President's government. We toiled day and night 
while these hawks called us names as we canvassed for votes for Mr. President. From unit to unit, word to word, local government area to local government area. Today we are happily joined. T today we have happily joined our progressive party with the intention of supporting Mr. President and further protecting the mandate that we all worked for. So no amount of blackmail will derail the result of this 10th assembly to support Mr. President, his government, and especially the son of River State, the FCT minister, who is making us proud in Abuja. We also want to call on Nigerians to give Mr. President the necessary support that he deserves. Prayers for Mr. President is quite necessary at this point in time. We are very hopeful that the programs that Mr. President has put in place for the betterment of this country would achieve the intended results. We know what Mr. President, Mr. President is doing for our economy, what he's doing in terms of security. We know what Mr. President is doing so that Nigerians can smile again. For us, we know we're not there yet, but the intentions of Mr. President are germane, and we believe in Mr. President. We'll continue to pray for him as an assembly. We call on Nigerians to pray for him. Finally, we assure the good people of River State of our commitment to stand up for them and urge them to remain prayerful against tyranny and dictatorship in the states. Because we believe that as agents of positive change, things can be better in the states if the rule of law prevails and there is mutual respect for and from all arms of government and institutions. Long live our God-given River State. Long live the Federal Republic of Nigeria. You can see that all the members are here, all 27 of us, except one who is not within town. So the rest of us are here seated, and this, uh, this document is signed by all of us. We are united, we remain united, and the reason we are united is because we are working for Rivers people. Rivers people are our watchword. Rivers people are our goal. Our intention is to stand as a watchdog. We want to make sure that we do our job in line with the Constitution. It doesn't matter the amount of uh, media attacks against us, but we will remain committed in the service of uh, our dear state. So thank you very much. It is that. Um, Impeachment is a last resort. It's not the first. When you try everything and it does appear, you can no move forward. You use impeachment as a tool. That's what the, I didn't write the constitution. I wasn't there when it was written. I'm not among those who went to draft it. And that word impeachment is not my village word. The, it, was, it has been inscribed there. So um, we, it's not that we're joyful. It's a sad situation in the States. This is the first time we're having this kind of situation where the governor is not interested with the legislature. The governor has chosen to attack the legislature. Um, all of you saw the governor put his hands in his pockets, went and demolished the legislature. It has never happened anywhere. The governor did it happily. Waited there and demolished it with the aim of not allowing the legislature to survive so that he can act as a detector. They burnt it demolished it. He's still not tired. They sent talks to attack Mr. Speaker in his residence, even with members there. Some of you were there that day when they came to attack us. So that's the kind of governor we have. This is the first of a kind in the history of River State. We have never seen it this bad. For a governor to openly attack the legislature, speak against the legislature, send his commissioner to be insulting us every day in the media. He sends all his staff, special advisors, appointees, every day in the media, attacking, insulting, elected members, people who are our subordinates. That's the trend. Governor encourages them to do that. So we are restricted to our job. We're making laws, coming up with resolutions. And our approach is a peaceful approach. I don't know what more you want us to do. We have called the media today to say, this is what the governor is doing wrong. After we withdrew the notice, we wrote to the governor. We have written to the governor and said, look, you are doing these things and they are wrong. Don't go this path. He has ignored us and he has continued. 
with impunity, acting as one who is above the laws of River State. We are drawing the attention of Nigerians, of Mr. President, the international community, to the way the governor is behaving. They burnt our hollow chamber, they demolished it, the governor is not following laws of River State. Those who say the governor is innocent all the time, we are calling on them to hear what the governor has been doing. The governor wants to set the state on fire by making sure the elections are not conducted. Even as we are here now, go to somewhere, maybe in Oyubo, where they are doing rally. They are insulting us there. Rather than do what the law says he should do. He says he's above the law. In fact, the commissioner said, I think in Nigeria Info, he told you people that the laws made by Rivers House Assembly are not for the governor. Yeah, are you not aware? Is it not in your station he said it? He said so. But he said it in your station. But that's the kind of administration we have. I'm an administration that has no regard for the law. That's where we are. So I don't know what else. Our approach, this, this press conference is one of the peaceful steps. We have never hired talks to go and attack the governor. It is the governor who is, talks are coming out from government has to attack the speaker. The video is there. Video evidence is there. The evidence is there. So we're not, we're not pursuing him. Ours is follow the law so that there will be peace. He doesn't want to follow the law. You see people who are occupying positions that the law has stipulated who should occupy the position. The governor is asking them to sit there and begin to do the job that they are not empowered by law to do. Look at what is happening in the Bureau of Public Procurement. Contracts are being awarded. State funds are being spent without due regard to the public, the, the, the public procurement law. The public procurement law says that there shall be the chairman and members of the board of the Bureau of Public Procurement, and that the governor shall appoint these individuals and send their names for the House of Assembly for screening. Governor says he's above the law, he won't appoint. They go ahead, and the Bureau is, I don't know who and who is there functioning. That same Bureau is supposed to, through a competitive selection process, come up with a DG for the Bureau of Public Procurement. And this is where taxpayers' money are being spent in billions. Taxes that you all pay are being spent in billions from these same people who are not approved by law to do the job. So the governor sits in government house and they are doing whatever. They are doing adverts. You are seeing all the adverts. These are the things that are supposed to be done by a fully constituted a bureau on public procurement. But it's not there. The governor says he's above the law. He's not, he's not. Those who are supporting him, issuing press conferences, they are not drawing his attention to what the law says. We are saying it to the, the uh, Department of State Security, Nigerian police, Mr. President, the international community, UN. They saw him demolish the assembly uh, uh, hello chamber. Nothing happened. He's on it again because nothing happened to him. Because nothing happened the other time, he's continuing. Maybe one day people will hear he has sent talks to demolish this place and kill all of us. But we are drawing the attention of the world to what the governor is doing. 